Eclipse Epoch diagram is often an important part of the defined stage of a Six Sigma project. But you can use this Epoch diagram anytime you want to learn more about a process or understand how a process in a business environment is linked to other processes. Epoch stands for suppliers, inputs, process, outputs, and customer. For the purposes of a Epoch, inputs and outputs follow the same guidelines described previously in this chapter. Suppliers are the people, processes, and organizations that supply inputs to your process. Customers are the people, processes, and organizations that make use of the outputs of your process. The process itself is the series of steps that take the inputs and make them outputs. The Epoch diagram is one of the most often used tools for understanding process components and process relevance because it is so effective and simple. Teams can create Epoch diagrams in a single brainstorming session, though effective diagramming usually requires the presence of a process owner and one or more subject matter experts who are familiar with the process on a daily level. An SME or subject manager expert is someone who is closely associated with or familiar with a process or work function. Six Sigma teams invite subject matter experts to participate in discussion, process mapping sessions, or problem and solution brainstorming, because SMEs have valuable insight that might not be provided by high-level process owners or a review of the data. Epoch diagrams are also infinitely scalable. Teams can diagram processes at a very minute level, but they can also use Epoch to diagram an entire business. We'll walk through creating a Epoch diagram and then provide some examples of Epochs at various levels to illustrate scalability.